what's up guys welcome back to yet another riveting episode here on the avion awesome channel today i'm out here exploring the grand old state of washington man nah, just kidding i'm all the way back home yeah i know mm. so some of you may be wondering why i'm all the way back in kentucky some of you probably don't care that's more of the realistic thing <laughs> But even if you don't care, I'm just gonna tell y'all real quick. Every year on your birthday, at least here in Kentucky, I don't know how it works everywhere else, but uh, every year you've got to renew, you know, your tag, your registration on your vehicle. I was getting ready to do that. Everything was going great. For whatever reason, I just happened to look down at my driver's license and noticed that it was expiring this year. I honestly thought I had uh, another year left on my driver's license. I, had no idea that I was gonna have to replace it this soon. And with all this COVID-19 stuff going on, it's just an absolute mess everywhere. Like you can't get anything done anywhere because everything is shut down. So what did I end up doing? Well, I drove all the way back. I managed to go to several different places on my way home. So I enjoyed my travel back to Kentucky, but I didn't really wanna come. I was supposed to be in the Pacific Northwest right now probably in washington state and or oregon depending on how fast i moved and how quickly i enjoyed the places that i was at with that being said i could have renewed the uh license online due to covid19 if and only if i didn't have to change my address but since i did have to change my address i actually needed to come back home that's unfortunate they wouldn't allow me to change my address and renew my driver's license online, so I had to be there in person. Oh my God, I had to make an appointment. And that appointment isn't until September. If I had known that, if I had known that I could make an appointment and then have stayed out uh, for another two months, I think I probably would have done that. But yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I, ha I hate. Like, you know, we, we do all this registration and stuff for these vehicles. It's like, I already bought it. It's already paid for. Why am I still paying you guys to, to drive it around? It just annoys me to no end. But I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, even if you don't really wanna do it. And I can assure you that I don't wanna do it. But um, the other big reason, there's a another big reason that I, and back here in Kentucky, we should probably sit down and talk about this one. But first, let me get inside and shut this off. We need some, we need some quiet privacy. Okie dokie artichokey. So, honestly, like it's it's really hard to even discuss this, but. I'm selling the Avion. <gasps> yeah, you're not the only one. I have, but I, I, I think like, I should like give a slight explanation. Over the last six months of being out in the West, I have come to realize that I absolutely positively love, and I do mean love, boondocking. There is a really good reason for selling this. This camper was not designed to do what I put her through over the last six months. I was still careful with her, but she really wasn't made to do what I was doing. I was off road, I was on forest roads, I was on washboarded roads. I was in some places that had no roads whatsoever. I was crawling over huge hunks of quartz. I was just, I was in a lot of places that this place just wasn't made for. This camper was not made for that. It was made to be on the road, it was made to be in campgrounds, it was made to be in relatively good conditions as far as road situations are concerned. And you know, I don't want to damage this camper. I really don't. I do not want to take her off road and, and, and damage her. So like I said, while I was very careful, there were so many places that I went to where I was at that I really wanted to get to. Like there were, there were like some really cool little behind the, the scenes, kind of off the beaten path, out in the middle of nowhere, that I really wanted to take this thing and set up camp but I couldn't. One, because I was afraid I would hurt her, and two, because she is long. She's 28 feet, and then when you combine this with the length of my truck, it puts me at a roughly 46 to 48 feet long. That is 
a dicey proposition to say the very least. And yeah, I mean, I'm not kidding. This is, it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm fudging or anything. Like all of my cabinets are empty. As you can see over here at the refrigerator, all of my magnets from all the different places that I went, they're all gone. Sad, isn't it? It's very sad. And all of my storage boxes for photography gear, tools, and solar supplies, all of that stuff is gone. The bedding is off the bed. It's all out of here, man. Like, it, there, there's nothing in here anymore. So I am, in fact, selling it. The buyer is supposed to be here today in about two hours or something like that. The pressing question on my, on my mind right now is, what am I going to call the channel now that I don't have a navy on? <gasps> but this is the thing. Each and every one of us, whether we are full-time or part-time or whatever, if we go on these trips, if we go out to these locations, um, we begin to uh, learn more about ourselves. We begin to learn like what we like, what we enjoy, what is going to work better for our specific travel style. Um, there are so many different considerations as to what is going to be the best thing for you as an individual. So don't let your nostalgia for, oh, let's see, I've made a lot of memories. It's just stuff. The vehicle is just a vessel to get you from point A to point B. It is the memories that you collect. Don't collect stuff. Collect memories. That's the one thing. If you are able to take anything with you out of this life, it's going to be your memories. So try your best not to get attached to the stuff, to the vehicle. I know that it has a lot of memories, but that's the reason I create videos, is so that I can look back on these things and I can remember all those wonderful things and all those cool places that I went. Okay, so it's very exciting. They should be here very, very soon, and they're going to pick it up. And they're going to drive away with Ava, the 1977 Avion Legrand, 28, I believe it's J, 28J. I put a lot of love and a lot of care into this thing. I have enjoyed every single moment, three years of ownership, two years of full-time living, lots of travel, 15 different states, and it's time to go to a new family that's not going to take her into crazy, wild places where she might get damaged. I mean, I hate to admit it, because I've tried to live my life where I'm not like attached to stuff, but I really am like a little nervous, you know, about them taking away my baby. It's my baby. And they should be here any minute. I'm trying not to be attached to stuff. Stuff doesn't matter. It's just a it's just a thing to point A to point B, that's it. Plus I've been talking to Gigi. Maybe you all remember her from back when I was in Quartzsite, Arizona in Joshua Tree, California, I was telling her that I had finally come to the conclusion that I was going to let Ava the Avion go. And she was just like, oh, I can't believe you're selling her. It was always so nice and clean and pretty. And I'm like, I know, but what do you do? But that was basically what I was trying to tell her. It's what I'm trying to tell you guys that you can't get attached to stuff and these vehicles, they're just a means of facilitating adventure in your life. And that's all. Oh, they're here. So we just got done. Heck yeah, super excited. She's not mine no more. <laughs> Sad day. You can come visit. All right. Push in. Good to go. That other stuff too. Uh, on the, you got chalk socks in the. Got some steaks in there. 
AR-42 and tack it down. Are you good? Yeah, man. <laughs> you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, brother. Probably give you a advice. All right, all right, sounds good. All right, brother, be safe. Oh my God, it's happening! Oh God, bye baby. Oh Jesus. Oh God. What have I done? Did I do the right thing? It's too late. Oh God, oh, oh man, that hurt. Oh, that hurt a lot. Oh God, oh, this helps. This helps a lot. Oh, but it's not the same. Oh, it's not the same. Oh, I'm gonna miss her so much. I am really, really, really gonna miss her so much together we were we went through so much together oh man i hope she takes good care of them Whew. calm down i'm seriously like a little bit emotional right now oh. mm. it's so weird this looks weird Well, it's all over. Today is the end of a chapter. It's not the end, though. So, we keep moving forward. Oh, what you doing, monkey? Our, our, our sweet Ava is gone, Bubby. Our adventure mobile is gone. Are you sad? Are you a little sad? Don't be sad, monkey. Yes, thanks so much for watching the last riveting episode here on the Avion Awesome channel. We'll figure the rest out as we go.